guys, my name is Chelsea and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're going to be unboxing the October Shelf Love Crate. It is $30 plus shipping and handling and in this box we do receive a fantasy or sci-fi young adult book plus other bookish goodies. I have absolutely been loving this box. This was actually my first ever book box and so it always holds a special place in my heart and I do not remember what the theme is for October but I am super excited to get into this because I'm pretty sure I know what book is in here so let's dive right on in. Okay. So this is going to be the card that has our spoilers in the middle. So our theme for this month is magic and mischief. And this is our theme art, which I absolutely love. It looks absolutely gorgeous. And then on the back, it does let us know about the November box. The theme for that one is going to be sibling rivalries. It says, are you ready to take sides? Our November box features some of the most epic family feuds in fiction and mythology and centers around the siblings who love to raise a little hell, sometimes literally. All items in this box are being created exclusively for Shelf Love Crate. Fandoms include The Mortal Instruments, Sky in the Deep, Alice in Wonderland, and more. This actually sounds like something super cool. I absolutely love many of these fandoms on there, and so I'm very excited to see what they do in November, but... Let's see what they have in October. Okay, so the first thing we have here looks like it is Witch's Brew Coffee. And it says it is Apple Cider Donut Coffee, and it is a Shelf Love Crate exclusive. I have not really ever tried flavored coffee, so that does sound very interesting. Uh, I really love the packaging on this, and I love that it's quite a bit. And it looks like this was designed by Love You More Studios. Okay, this is super cool. Let me get it out of the package for you guys. We have a hat, and it is a darker shades of magic hat. I am in love with this. I think that this is going to be perfect. I love the colors on it because it is something that definitely feels very like october -y, fall, autumn type of thing, but... This is going to be a really good one for winter as well. So we have all the different London colors here and like the stuff from the book. And then there's like the hands and we even have a pom-pom. This is so cool. I absolutely love this. I'm not going to put it on right now because otherwise my hair is going to go crazy. But oh my gosh, I have never seen something like this in a box before, and I am in love. And this was designed by KDP Letters. The next thing we have is this one here. Again, this is super exciting. Uh, these are the Sanderson sisters from Hocus Pocus. I have always loved Hocus Pocus. This is definitely a movie that I grew up with being born in the 90s. Um, but my husband had never actually seen it until earlier this week, and I made him watch it and he loved it. There were certain parts that were just like super humorous, um, like when they're flying around on the knot brooms and he thought it was hilarious. And I absolutely love the designs on these. They do look like magnetic bookmarks and these are designed by Silkatara. I follow her on Instagram. I absolutely love her work. Um, but let's take these out and just take a look. So these are actually really nice magnetic bookmarks. It's the magnet like all the way across it. It's not just like a piece on there. Um, and so like for this one here we have Mary and then here's our Sarah and Winifred. Again, I absolutely love these. I think these are a really good design for bookmark magnets because of the fact that the magnet is like the whole part of it. I'm in love with these. These are perfect. And then the next item we have is this one here. I'm pretty sure these are going to be like book tabs sort of like post-it notes um, that I know people use a lot to like tab up their books. I haven't really done that um, ever. The closest I've gotten to that is on ebooks. I'll sometimes use the highlighting feature, um, but these are super cool and it is just like tons of little post-its in here and they have different 
wand types. None of these to me look exactly like a specific wand from like a character. So these are definitely more generic wands, but I love these. I love office like stationery and these are adorable. And it does look like this was actually just created by Team Shelf Love. So the people that make the box designed these. And then we do have our bonus Lunar Chronicles trading card from them. This has been coming in the boxes for the last few months and I believe we're getting 10 total and then they're going to be doing something else. So this month's is Kai the Prince. I am super excited to have this. That means we're getting pretty much all of our like couples together. We have some of the ones from previously. I absolutely love the design on these. Um, this is going to be 9 out of 10, so our last one should be coming in the November box. Here is the design on the back, just like always. I absolutely love these. These ones are created by Kat Adara. She is the same artist who does all of the art on our like spoiler cards, and I love these so much the design on them is beautiful the art is beautiful and i just love the characters in this world so it's perfect and then we have something in this little brown bag oh goodness okay sorry it is gorgeous i am in love this is another one of my absolute favorite series okay so let's take this slow so here we do have the Page of Cups, this is obviously going to be blue. We have the Hermit, so Noah. Death is Gamesy. This one's a little darker, it looks like the Knight, Adam, and the Moon, Ronan. So these are basically like tarot cards of the main characters from the Raven Cycle. I absolutely love these. And then on the back, this is the design on the back of this. These are freaking gorgeous. I am in love. The only thing, and I, I, I have a feeling that this is how they wanted to do it. The only thing is that I feel like this card here, it comes up on camera much better than in person. Um, probably because it's doing like the auto focus and like white balance thing. This is so dark in person, it's so hard to actually read the bottom where it says the night um, compared to like some of these other ones. Let me just pull up another one that's actually really dark as well, it's the Ronin one. Um, this is the difference in color design on these and Ronin is one of the darker ones as well. One of the lightest ones is going to be this card here and again it shows up still much better in camera, but you can see how dark it turns out. And I'm, again, I'm sure that was part of the point, but it is very, very hard to even read the bottom in person. But I absolutely love these. I love the design. I have no idea who did these, so let me see. These were designed by Morgana O'Anagram. She's somebody that Shelf Love Crate has worked with in the past. I think most of the people from this box are but I absolutely love these. These are gorgeous. And then it looks like we are down to our book of the month. So as always, it does come with a matching bookmark to our art on the spoiler card. Again, these are done by Kat Adara. I absolutely love these. And on the back, it just has our Shelf Love Crate like logo and colors. These are amazing. And then our book of the month, I did know it and I'm so excited, is Grim Lovelies by Megan Shepard. I have been waiting for this book for it seems like forever, ever since it was announced. I am so excited. And this one is a signed edition. This is so much prettier in person than I thought it was going to be. It has the nice gold foiling on the cover, and it looks like the gold foiling actually is exclusive to Shelf Love Crate. So this is an exclusive cover edition, as well as being signed. I am in love with this. I am so excited. So this is a book that I believe is set in modern day Paris, but we do have magical elements as well. It follows our main character of Anouk, who is a beastie, which means she was an animal that was transformed into a human by a witch. She 
does not really have the greatest relationship with her witch because her witch is not like the nice witch. Um, but one day the witch ends up being murdered and Anouk is accused of the crime. So what ends up happening is it sounds like she and the other beasties that are with her have like three days to figure out who the actual killer is or they're going to be transformed back into animals. I feel like this is right up my alley. We have just the right dose of like magic in here, but also I'm just super intrigued by the whole premise of this about the beasties and the world that this is supposed to be in, especially since I think it is technically still in modern day Paris. I am so excited to read this. This has been one of my most anticipated reads of the year. And so I'm so happy we have this finally. Um, we do also, as always, in our little spoiler booklet, have a letter from the author. They also give recommendations of books that you might like if you like this one. And so that is everything in our October box. I'm very, very excited for November as well. Uh, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up to let me know. Leave me a comment down below letting me know if you are excited for this book as well, or if you liked the items that came in the box this month. Subscribe to this channel if you would like to see more videos. I do have videos up every Monday and Thursday, so I will see you then. Bye!